Hello, I have a project share from AliExpress and the first one I want to show you is this uh, pizza box. Is this pizza box. That's one of the dies. That is the top. This is the bottom. And then it came with these alphabets and numbers. That font and this font. I didn't use the alphabets. But I did cut them out. And... This is the... Pretty... Alpha. And then the small one. So that's how that looks. So the pretty ones are bigger. So you have the the alphas and the the high, the lowercase and the alpha. And then the numbers on that. So let me show you what I made using the pizza box. So I used some flowers and I had this bow in my stash from AliExpress also. And my flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this is from, the Be Thankful is from Heidi Swap. And this butterfly is from... Elizabeth craft design. So this is the box as you can see and then it has a little lid to open it up That's how it opens and you could put Some sequins little sequins in a bag or you could put some die cuts in here and share it with your friends You could put a lot of things in here because it's thick enough you can even put some charms inside. So that's that one. And then the next one is this purse that I uh, picked up from AliExpress. And I did cut it out. And I did decorate it. I used again my uh, flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I put one of the charms that I did earlier. And I did use the Hot Buys from Michaels. The glitter and the shimmer uh, cardstock, and so that's how that looks. And so you could open it up. I open this little charm, and it has enough space to put a lot of stuff inside. So I just and the the heart that cut out I did use them in my next project so and then you just put it like that and there goes your little charm and the little flowers and I think it was enough decorated with the glitter paper so I left it like that the next one is this little backpack and it comes with a lot of cuts out so the backpack is this big thing. You only have to cut it once, which is good. And then it comes with the decorations that you could cut out if you want to decorate it. I didn't decorate it. And it does come with a little tiny pocket, this little pocket right here. And you could decorate the pocket, which I did. And then this big pocket in the front. And it came with a the little die to decorate the pocket also which I did decorate the pocket and then this is the straps to hold the backpack so let me show you how that came out so this is the little backpack these are the straps and that's the little pocket and this is the heart from the purse here so I put the heart there and it's a pocket and this is the front pocket and I did cut out the heart from 
this purse and again here and it's a pocket there then I just put a little flower there and it does come with a little that's this right here to hold on top and then I put a little flower from Wild Orchid Crafts and then some velcro to hold it in and it's big enough to put some chocolates or even some sequins, little bags of sequins or even some cutouts so that's how that looks I think it turned out pretty good let me know in your comments below which one was your favorite and again that was from Aliexpress and if you want the store I don't know you know how Ali is they do run out very quickly so if you need the link and I could find it I'll leave it in the comments if you comment if you need the store okay the next item I want to show you is I did get some re-inkers for my little distress inks that I did get before so I did get four of them so the ones I did get was peacock feathers which is this one and I did go to his website the ranger website to get the uh, re-inkers so I already had these but I needed the ink because I've noticed that my Stampin' Up! inks, they're drying out and I don't have the re-inkers. So uh, it's to the garbage because uh, they don't have them because they uh, go out of stock and they retired the inks. So I didn't want that to happen to these little ink pads because, you know, you pay money for this and you want it to last as long as you're crafting. Then the next one was dried marigold. I got the re-inker to that one. And then the next one is cracked pistachio. Right there. And then the next one was milled lavender. And it's right there, the re-inker. And I thought I had the distress ink to mermaid lagoon, which I don't. So now I need to get the little distress ink for that <laughs> and then for my distress oxides I did get the re-inkers for that so I did have I still have three mores that I need to get so I have festive berries and that's the re-inker for that one then mermaid lagoon so I thought I had the Distress ink and the Oxide, but I didn't. I just had the, the Oxide, Distress Oxide to that. Then I had Stormy Sky, so I did buy the rain go to that. Then I had Cracked Pistachio, which I got it in uh, Hobby Lobby for $1.49 a long time ago. And that is the Distress ink to that and then tumbled glass and that is what I bought for that so I still need a couple of more for my distress inks I have like eight more that I need to get which is out of stock so I'm still gonna try to try to find it I did put a link to let me notify me when it does come back in stock so hopefully it'll be soon because I do like my distress inks and my oxides and I want them to last longer than what my Stampin' Up! did and when I started I didn't know I had to buy the re-inkers so that is that so I have to look at them and see if I have to throw them out or if I find a way to order them from someone or eBay. Maybe they have them. So that is it for my project shares from AliExpress and my re-inkers that I bought. I do have a couple of other shares. Uh, Michael's Hall came in through the mail. Um, Amazon came through the mail. 
Heidi Swap and Elizabeth Crafts, which I have to uh, stamp them out first, and then I uh, will be able to uh, show you them. Okay, as always, please give this uh, video a thumbs up if you like this video, and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I do get to you relatively quick. And as always, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.